Have you ever wondered about the validity of alternative medical treatments? Picture this, a homeopathic remedy promising to cure your ailment with no side effects. Sounds too good to be true, right? That's because more often than not, it is. Take homeopathy, for instance. The principle of like cures like suggests that a substance causing symptoms in a healthy person could treat similar symptoms in a sick one. But time and again, scientific studies have shown that these remedies are no more effective than a placebo. Yet, homeopathy persists. Widely promoted as an alternative to conventional medicine or consider detoxification therapies. They claim to cleanse your body of toxins, improving your health. But science doesn't back this up. Our bodies already have natural detoxification systems in place, like the liver and kidneys. These detox therapies can involve expensive, potentially harmful treatments, like colon cleansing or intravenous drips, all with no proven benefits. And then we have alternative cancer treatments. Some people turn to substances like latrile, derived from apricot pits, or high-dose vitamins and minerals, hoping to cure or prevent cancer. But extensive studies have consistently shown these treatments to be ineffective. Depending solely on these alternatives can be extremely dangerous, potentially delaying or preventing patients from receiving evidence-based, life-saving treatments. The danger of pseudoscience in medicine lies in its potential to cause harm. When people delay or forego effective medical treatments in favor of pseudoscientific practices, they risk their health. This is particularly dangerous when it comes to serious and life-threatening conditions. Pseudoscience can also lead to financial exploitation, with high fees charged for treatments lacking evidence-based support. Countering pseudoscience in medicine requires a joint effort. Promoting scientific literacy and critical thinking skills is key helping individuals evaluate health claims and make informed decisions. Healthcare professionals play a key role in providing evidence-based information, challenging misinformation, and advocating for their patients' best interests. Regulatory bodies and professional organizations also need to step up, ensuring medical practices are based on scientific evidence. They can help educate the public, monitor and regulate medical claims, and take action against practitioners engaging in pseudoscientific practices. In conclusion, pseudoscience in medicine poses a significant threat to public health. It undermines the principles of evidence-based medicine and can have harmful consequences for those who rely on unproven practices. Promoting scientific literacy, fostering critical thinking, and supporting evidence-based medicine are essential in combating this threat and protecting the well-being of individuals.